my son Walt is a horrible liar. I always know when he's lying because he lies so slowly <laughs> that it's obvious. Walt, did you break this vase, buddy? And Walt says, I really think this is gonna hurt him later in life. His wife is gonna come in with that new red dress she just bought. Walt, how does this dress make me look? And Walt's gonna be like, oh. Skinny. <laughs> so my kids recently learned foul language from the neighbors. Well, my wife, Ashley, said, Marty, we need to make our kids stop playing with Travis and Michael next door because Travis and Michael teach them all that foul language. And I said, I know, you're right. But Travis and Michael have a swimming pool. <laughs> we recently had uh, 600 bats in our house. But, uh, we knew we had them because bats make a little noise. Uh, bats kind of sound like a mouse. Kind of like a Pentecostal mouse. <laughs> There was one little line in the white pages, not a paid ad, nothing, just a name and a number, The Bug Man, with two Gs, The Bug Man. And I called Bug Man, hey, Bug Man, please tell me that you do bats. And Bug Man said, do you have cash? <laughs> one hour later, Bug Man is in my backyard making me sign a waiver and he throws a 24-foot ladder against the back of the house because they're up in the second floor gable vent. Boom. And when he does that, one little bull bat falls out and hits the ground, scurries to the wall, and starts climbing back up the wall. And let me clarify, these were bull bats. They're like little gray human beings with fangs <laughs> and wings and shoulder blades. <laughs> and he's just this little bull bat that's like climbing back up the wall. And he gets to about right here, and Bugman is like, holy cow, how many of them are there, Marty? And I was like, I don't know, like five or 600. And Bugman picked up a brick and looked at that bull bat and looked at me. <laughs> and then Bugman said, well, that's one. Then he starts to pump this liquid mixture. He's like, psh, 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 throws it over his shoulder, then starts going up the ladder, and then looks at me and is like, hey, Marty, hold the ladder. <laughs> so this is me at the bottom, holding the ladder, immediately regretting <laughs> holding this ladder. He squirts this mixture and is like, psh, Whereupon I hear this. <laughs> Evidently, these bats were now upset. <laughs> and these bats started pouring out of the side of my house like Niagara Falls a bat <laughs> coming toward my face. <laughs> And in a moment of clarity, I remembered that bats can see, but they don't look with their eyes. They use echolocation to send out a little signal that hits a thing and then bounces off that thing and tells the bat to dodge that thing. And I wanted these 500 bats to know that I was a thing. <laughs> so I'm at the bottom making sure that they know, and I'm just like, whoo, whoo! Understand, you can't play chicken with a blind bat. They're not looking. 
You can't like guess and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you saw me going this way, so you would go, no! You have to just stare this down and trust nature. These bats are whizzing by my face. So they all get into my backyard, they're flying all around. Bugman is at the top of this ladder, whips out this expandable screen, puts it up there. Bugman slides down this ladder like a fire pole, hits the ground, looks up at all these bats, and is like, Well, that'll be 175 bucks, Marty. You said you had cash. Bugman is done here. Bugman, what is gonna happen to all of these bats? And Bugman's like, these bats are gonna be fine, Marty. They're probably gonna go to that house right there. <laughs> that house with the swimming pool. <laughs> it's like three months later, Mr. Travis and Michael is outside in his yard talking to me. He's like, man, I got like 500 bats in my attic. Do you know anything about that, Marty? Do you even know who to call? I was like, you know what I was really thinking was, uh, Ha, ha, ha.